<sighs> I didn't realize how much I how much of a graphics whore I was until I played Buck a bit. So until I can, until we can get that little screen issue fixed. Well, until that screen issue gets fixed, I'm putting that play through on hold. Anyway, rivals of ether, ether, however, oh, I get. Well, I guess I should say like ice since this is ether. I've tried practice mode. Oh god, I can't do it. Like, not practice mode. Tutorial mode. I can't get past intermediate. <laughs> like, I want to say that this game's that this game is like the Smash Brothers that everybody wanted. But at the same time, it's kind of not. <laughs> Oh well. Completed it in 12 seconds. How? How? Alright, like, well, that is. There's people, the wall builders, that vote their entire lives to maintaining the great rock wall. They have own will and power to manipulate great masses of stuff. Most wall builders are born on the wall and will circle the whole Ethereum forest three times during their lifetimes, never setting foot on the ground with them. Stage 1. It's a shame I can't pick my custom color while playing this story mode. Is like I'm already discouraged from when I saw the um, when I saw those times. Like, oh, I got 12 seconds. Literally means you like you took like two seconds per stage. One day, Crank comes upon a huge breach in the northern wall. He has never seen such a destruction, and he fears what threat might have encountered the forest. Yeah. I'm still learning the game. Not that that's an excuse. Um. Okay. <laughs> well, okay then. Crag summons the rocks to begin repairing the wounded wall. A laborious process. You must heal it quickly to protect the pre precious Ethereum forest from outside threats. <laughs> Suddenly, the unthinkable happens. Crag is attacked from inside the wall. Rock Crown Mine can barely process what he sees. The Great Wall was made to protect the treetop dwellers. 
And now one of them is mounting an assault from the from the thing. Steps up, steps down off the wall for the first time in his life to confront the tree shop. The tree top trader. Maple, vigilante of the forest. Meanwhile, bystanders gather. The tree top dwellers only see Craig trespassing on the forest floor to attack one of their own. Outrage, they vow retaliation on their former allies, the wall. Yeah, that's what this is, a rocky start. To Craig's amazement, the purple tree top dweller vanishes. Mary, younger sister of Faithful, approaches and drops a letter to the forest floor. The letter explains that a shadowy warrior couldn't have been the real Mayfield because she left long ago to find the source of the strange purple disease in the forest. Craig realizes that the only way to protect his beloved wall and forest is to leave. Mary sends Lily with Craig to help him tra track down Maple on her quest. <laughs> the 
darn airbenders. <laughs> so apparently I gotta do all six stories in order to unlock whatever the final story is. Although I have to question then what the heck is the point of the DLC? Oh well. Hope you guys like this game. <laughs>